Score points. That's a good point, Jimmy. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, a, a game that should be fun to watch if you're a Viking fan. I got friends that are. I, the key to this game, I, I'm, not, I'm not real concerned about the offense because I think, I think Zimmer's finally adjusted to the fact that Cousins <laughs> let him go ahead and throw the football. Outstanding offensively. Rode the corners a little bit. Just a little, uh, not playing his best. I guess that's the best way to say it. But the key to me is their tight end, Kyle Rudolph. The guy's got six touchdowns inception. He is the leader of that pack. Kind of like Rudolph Santa. Santa Rudolph. It, it's his time of year is what you're saying. What we're trying to do here is be hey, clever. Howie, let's look at the West. Because while all of us have been focused on San Francisco all season long, Seattle has quietly won five in a row. They're 10-2. and two, Up there in two Alaska. Right now. Yeah, South Alaska, as Jimmy yeah. called it. <laughs> but now they've got a big game against the Rams right now. We're fighting to get uh, Teddy Bridgewater at Minnesota. All right, speaking of Minnesota, the Vikings are 5-0 and oh at home this season as they host the Lions. The first of three games they'll play at home against the division rivals down the stretch. Michael, with the Vikings playing so well at U.S. Bank Stadium, are you still... Banking on them to win the division? Why not the Vikings, Kurt? I mean, great record at home this season. They get the Packers and the Bears at home. A little home cooking. I think a little home cooking could give the Vikings the north. I really do. All right, from Prince's home state of Minnesota to a team that has brought a whole new meaning to Purple Rain. As the top seeded Baltimore Ravens and the Electrified. David Blau made his NFL debut on Thanksgiving, and it was a good one. But today he goes on the road to take on Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings. They sell out crowd every Sunday when they play on the home run for these Vikings. 8-4, a game behind Green Bay in the NFC North. And I get everybody alongside the Hall of Fame nominee, Chris Spielman. And Shannon Spake on top. Brenneman, great to be with you. One game behind Green Bay, the Vikings have three of their next four, including today, division games here at home. It's right there for the take. Well, you look at it, it's, it's not a mathematical must-win situation for the Vikings, but mentally I think it is, especially for this defense, who has not lived to the standard of themselves as players and to Coach Zimmer. They get a rookie quarterback today, I think they'll play a little bit better. Well, speaking of that rookie quarterback, your thoughts watching David Blau on Thanksgiving? Well, I was so impressed with his composure, and that offensive line did a good job, but I like the fact that he didn't panic and run the football. He kept his eyes downfield, held on to the ball, allowed big plays to happen down there for Marvin Jones Jr. and Kenny Galladay. All right, these two longtime foes go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The Lions and the Vikings, you're watching the NFL on Fox.